on behalf of uh, me and Mrs. Forster. <laughs> so I thought it was only right I'd take advantage of this opportunity where I can speak on behalf of uh, both of us. I've been normally spending the next 50 years listening. Or pretending to. Yeah, exactly. So for those who know me well, know that public speaking is literally my worst nightmare. So in preparation for this, Rose has been really supportive. She offered me a few tips. The first one, she said, look, best thing to do is take your time. Not trying to be funny, witty, clever, charming. Just be yourself. <laughs> uh, the second was that she um, said it's far easier to relax if I imagine all of you naked, which I'm doing right now. <laughs> How many pills did you take, Richard? <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, so we're blessed to have somebody here today, a big part of our day. Thank you all for being here. It's a pleasure having you all here. We're really grateful for you taking time off work, away from the kids and holidays for our special day. Uh, people travel from all over the place, South Wales, Oxford, Belfast, Australia, Nottingham, Osset, Jewsby and Burstall. Teresa, I think everyone here can agree, a ridiculously beautiful ceremony. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. We just flew all the way from Australia to plan the <coughs> wedding. Obviously, it wasn't easy for you to get here, so we yeah we can't thank you enough. Um, bridesmaids, yeah. Alex, can't speak for that. I know. Alex, thanks for being uh, there for Rosie since high school. Uh, thanks for organising the Hindu. Rosie said it was exactly what she wanted. Um, music game, surrounded by her best friends and family. So thanks for being there for Rosie and help decorate today. It means a lot. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Rosie, yeah, Rosie has been in your company. I can always tell when she's been to see you because uh, she's usually absolutely battered. Chatting <laughs> <laughs> proper shit and I'm genuinely planning on babies uh, every time. Uh, Emma, uh, thanks for being there for Rosie for the last 15 years. She absolutely adores you. Um, and like Alex, she's proud to have you by her side today. Um, I remember the first time I met you, Emma, in 2016. Uh, you literally said to Rosie straight away, yeah, not, not how I imagine him to look like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still taking him that better than you expected. <laughs> much, much better. <laughs> 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 Every time I see you, I remember it. <laughs> Leanne, where are people? Yeah. Leanne, you alright? <laughs> so Leanne, thanks for always ro offering Rosie advice and support. Uh, you might not know this, but Rosie genuinely considers you to be a second sister. Um, we both admire you and uh, as a mother, and you and Katie are massive inspirations to us. So thank you. Uh, Roxy and uh, Elsie. It's Elsie's uh, birthday today, so a massive round of applause. Happy birthday! Special thank you for you to be an amazing spot to Rosie the last few Beautiful months in preparation. <laughs> uh, Rosie is proud to call you a sister, and we're also delighted baby Ashley is here to celebrate with us, so thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ushers. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Tom Finnegan and Tim. So I met these two curvy, lovable, bearded people <laughs> over 10 years ago in Australia. I genuinely found them both hilarious. Lads, we've had some really deep chats over the last 12 years. Thanks for being amazing mates. Um, sorry for making you both wearing super skinny suits today. <laughs> Laura, Lucy, I'm pretty sure you'll agree you look pretty smart. Um, really honoured to have you both involved in the wedding. You didn't quite do enough to be best men, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe next time. Yeah, next time. Yeah. Uh, best men, uh, Rod and Meek. Um, I mean, best men, it's a bit of an overstatement, isn't it, really? <laughs> what have you really done <laughs> in the last 12 years? I honestly don't know I've got all this friendship. Um, I, like, I think it's still cute that you see me as an older brother. That's really sweet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, meeting you in Oz was really unreal. 
Rod, my roommate, photographer partner and general wind up merchant. Meek, football psychic, shop fitting mate, and travel buddy apparently. <laughs> Uh, the lads organised my stand four weeks ago and uh, it was a massive challenge for them. They pulled it off, it was genuinely one of the best weekends of my life. Uh, apparently we had a really good time that weekend, genuinely don't remember being there. But cheers lads. Uh, so to my family. Can I see my people are? Is that your microphone? Mine? Yeah. What? Is that on? Is that on? Oh. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Let's go! Basel! To my family, thank you for being amazing parents. Uh, you've always guided me and supported me in everything I do, from driving me and Sean all over Yorkshire to play football games, uh, amazing family holidays to Palmer, over Wales, Turkey, and centre parks. Uh, Rosie and I can't thank you enough for all the support you've given us the last six years. Uh, Mum, promise you'll get grandkids one day. Did you say Five. Five. So, Iron and Richard, um, the in-laws, I remember the first time I laid eyes on your daughter and straight away I thought, whoa, she's unreal. She's beautiful, clever, smart, friendly, and has a great head on her shoulders. But today's not about Kate. <laughs> <laughs> not about you. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, from day one you always welcome me with open arms and you've always made me feel like part of your family. <clears throat> Today you got to watch, watch your youngest daughter get married and I know how, how proud you are of Rosie. Eileen, I want to take the opportunity to see how amazing you look. Can you record me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you look lovely Eileen, really, really amazing. Um, you've raised an absolutely amazing daughter and the way Rosie is is completely down to how she's been raised by you guys, so amazing. Um, yeah. So together, witnessing you and Rosie make decisions is an absolute friggin' nightmare. <laughs> what should we watch? What should we eat? Well, I don't know, what do you want to do? Proper nightmare. But it's good that you've got two husbands there to guide you. <laughs> Jenny, thank you for everything. I'm really proud to call you my mother-in-law. Richard. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Over the last six years, we can't thank you enough for what you've done for us. I can't even begin to remember the amount of times you fixed our cars and sorted out the house. For those who don't know, don't know it was Richard who, with the help of me, Rosie and Eileen, who basically redeveloped our entire house. I say with my help, I basically made the bruise, stood in the corner, and pretended to know what a screwdriver and a screwdriver was. Still on that fucking glue. <laughs> Richard, you'll always be my inspiration. Mainly because you're the only person I've ever met who walks into a charity shop and asks for a discount. <laughs> <laughs> what a lad! What a lad! Look at this shit! That's great, isn't it? Wouldn't you? I'm going to reach you, I'm generally proud to call you my in laws. And I know you know this, but Rosie will forever be my number one priority. And I promise to love, protect, and care for her. And I'll make sure she's happy every single day. When you brought Rosie into the world in 1989, you gave us all here the best gift possible. And don't worry, I'll really enjoy to opening that gift later on tonight. <laughs> now to the main event, the bride. So I think I'll share by uh, sharing the specifics of how Rosie and I actually became introduced to one another. I know Teresa touched on it earlier. Uh, so it was a cold autumn night in 2015. I'm scrolling through Facebook when I see a picture of a beautiful blonde who's about to go on a night out for Halloween. Skimpy dress, boobs pushed up, high heels on, looks pretty easy. And, uh, and stood next to Emma was Rosie. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Obviously at this stage I took the opportunity to DM Rosie with a classic chat line and I quote, nice Halloween outfit, really scary. Needless to say, 
no reply. <laughs> Why would she? It was a pathetic attempt. I needed a new angle, so I stalked her page and saw she had recently enrolled to the student midwife. So attempt two was, I see you're a student midwife. Can I just say that's really great? <laughs> Rosa replies, the rest is history. After four weeks of messaging back and forth, we agreed to meet up. Not before Rosie texts me saying, just so you know, I'm not coming over to yours for Netflix and chill. <laughs> and I thought, what a classy Jews we teach you. Uh, and I can assure you there's plenty of Netflix over the next few months only. Uh, Rosie, I promise to protect you, care for you, look after you, and do everything I can do to create a life of happiness for us both. You have too many characteristics to mention on why I love you, but I'd like to remind you of a few. I love the way your nostrils flutter when you laugh uncontrollably, <laughs> the way you some, somehow find me hilarious in everything I do. I love your clumsiness and how you find it impossible to go a single day without spilling a drink or banging your head. <laughs> I love how you stood by three years of uni to become a midwife, the endless work and effort you put in and successfully ended up with a degree, and going on to be a midwife and working ridiculously hard in a selfish job of making other people happy. I love that you stayed with me when I first, <laughs> when you first realised I was going thin and balding. <laughs> and how you remind me on a weekly basis of how lucky I am to have a skinner like you. <laughs> but most of all, over the last six years, I love how you stayed true to yourself and you've loved me and made me feel special every day, which more than I thought was possible. You've always had my back when I've had a different jobs. You've always offered an endless amount of support and encouragement. Thank you for making me laugh every day and constantly being yourself. Anything that happens now is just a bonus. You genuinely look amazing today, and I'm beyond proud to call you my wife. Um, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding. Raise a glass to the greatest person I've ever met, my best friend, my beautiful wife. Here's to you, Rosie Foster. <laughs>